Okay, I'm going to be doing a small computer update today. Uh, thank you for everyone's comments on my computer build when I did the review on it. <clears throat> it seems like one thing that everyone said, hey, you have this world-class computer. This is top-notch. seems like I got a bunch of hate mail saying, you know, why do you not have an SSD? you got a 500 gigabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. That's silly. So I listened to everyone and I went ahead and made a purchase and that's what I'm going to be talking about today uh, there was three SSDs that I was looking at uh, the first one was the OCZ, the Z drive, the one that goes ahead and plugs into the PCI Express slot seems like that got a lot of good reviews uh, the one I was looking at was 256 gigabyte. I knew when I was going to get an SSD I wasn't going to get a small one uh, I have a lot of games and I use Steam a lot and I don't want to have to figure out where I'm going to put what game on what drive and figure it out. So I was going to get a bigger SSD so it was between the 256 for the OCZ the Z drive or I was going to get the uh, OCZ the limited edition which is also they're 100 gigabytes and you can get one that's 200 gigabytes so I was looking at the 200 gigabyte uh, and then the last one I was looking at was the Crucial, the new serial ATA 3.0, the uh, C300s. It was 256 uh, gigabytes as well. So, let's see here. I got a package today. Looky there, Express Mail. I don't like waiting for anything. So let's go ahead and look and see. See what's in it. See which one I got. Open it up. Well, there's what I got. Okay, here it is. I went with the Crucial 256. I like it that it will be future compatible with the new Zero ATA 3.0. And so let's go ahead and have a look at it. Uh, of course you can't hardly read that I'm sure. See serial ATA 6 gigabytes per second. And it's also compatible with serial serial ATA 3 gigabyte. So let's go ahead and get it open. All I could find was my son's play scissors, so I have a real pair of scissors, I know. There we go. Information. And there it is. It's almost hard to believe that something so small can be so expensive. I put off getting an SSD for so long because, gosh. I keep waiting for the prices to come down, but it doesn't seem like they want to come down at all. And so there it is. Crucial Real SSD. And there's the back of it. So what I'm going to do now is it's, I'm going to go ahead and time. Because the main reason I, you know, you get SSDs because you want your computer to be more responsive, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to time with my current setup. I'm going to time how long it takes for the computer to shut down and then I'm going to go ahead and do a start on the computer and see how long it takes to actually get in the windows and then I will compare that to after I reinstall the OS on the new drive. Now of course it's not going to be a perfect comparison but if I, you know I want to be able to see the difference. So let's go ahead and shut the computer down so and I will time how long it takes. Here I'll go ahead and hit start when I hit shut down, and so let's see if you can see that there. Okay, now my monitor's off, but my computer's not turned off yet.
Okay. 21.9 seconds to shut down, which is really horrendous, I think. So let's go ahead and, and do a test on the startup, see how long it's going to take to start up. Okay, we'll go ahead and look at look at the power monitor too, so. Okay, turned on, I started my stopwatch. There's that. About Ten seconds now. Looking over there. Here it comes. Gosh. Yeah, I've been noticing it takes a long time to get in. I went from Raptors to this single drive, so. Okay, we're going to call it roughly 45, 46 seconds to actually get on the desktop. Okay, uh, to close out this video, there is my old hard drive still installed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run an Addo benchmark on it and see what it scores. And then when I get my SSD in there, I'll be able to compare the two. Let's go ahead and start it. Yeah, typically spindle drives, the read and writes are real close. And you see that here where the red and green lines are pretty much on top of each other the whole way through. I'm actually getting a little higher than what I expected for this hard drive. For those of you that have maybe two Velociraptors in RAID 0, I'd like to see you all run this uh, Addo disk, be disk benchmark and post your scores because these are actually higher scores than what I was thinking that this single disk could do. It looks like it's reached its max. So it looks like it's almost getting 140 megabytes per second for read and write. Which, again, I'm surprised that it's that high. I was thinking it's going to be around 100. Okay, there's the test, and it looks to me like the highest score is about 136 megabytes per second on the read and the write. So when I get my SSD installed, I will go ahead and do an add on it, and we'll compare the two. Hopefully everyone who wanted me to get an SSD, hopefully this will pay off for me.